I, I did have to laugh last week when the president made a speech and said he's working on bringing down the cost of energy. And so the announcement was, I'm gonna bring down the cost of energy by dropping tariffs on solar panels coming from the Far East. Talk about out of touch. That's out of touch. Not only because if we're gonna produce solar panels, why aren't we incentivizing the production of solar panels here in America, rather than encouraging the production of solar panels overseas in the Far East? But how in the world is dropping tariffs on solar panels from the Far East going to help folks filling up their tank with gas next week. The president said he was gonna solve energy issues and the price of the pump by increasing the amount of ethanol that we would use. Remember that one? That was about five months ago, that we just have more ethanol. And he went to Iowa and made a big announcement, we'll just do more ethanol. And the prices continued to be able to skyrocket and rise. The president then came on and said, all right, I have, um, we still have a higher and higher and higher price. So the ethanol whole thing didn't work when he put that out here. And so he came back and said, we're gonna do the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. We're gonna release a million barrels a day from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Remember that announcement? That announcement was made right about there on this chart is when that announcement was made. How's it gone for gas prices since his announcement of we're gonna release a million barrels a day from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve? It still continued to be able to rise because prices aren't based on short-term input from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, it's based on long-term supply. That's basic economics. And then now the talk has been a temporary gas tax holiday. We'll do a temporary gas tax holiday and that's gonna give people relief. Can I remind everyone, we're at over $5 a gallon. The temporary gas tax holiday would drop the price 18 cents. 18 cents is what it would drop the price. We're not trying to get an 18 cent drop, we're trying to get it back down to where it is over here, or how about over here, where we were at $2 a gallon, not 18 cents. Besides the fact if you drop the gas tax holiday in 18 cents, just for this year, it's a $20 billion hole in our infrastructure, in our building for bridges and highways and roads, to get an 18 cent bump. There's also been the uh, proposal that's out there that he's gonna take over refineries. That was today. This, this, this again, it's like, it seems like every week there's a new thing that they throw out. Now it is a letter that he sent to the major refineries and in the letter that the president sent to the major refineries, he wrote, my administration is prepared to use all reasonable and appropriate federal government tools and emergency authorities to increase refinery capacity and output in the near term to ensure that every region of this country is appropriate supplied. Great. So the president is going to go into the refineries and he's gonna take them over. The same administration that's managing our baby formula is now gonna manage our refineries. That's gonna work out terrific. Our refineries right now are running at 95% capacity, 95%. The interesting thing about our refineries, America's not built a new refinery since 1977. And just in the past three years, we've lost off almost a million barrels a day of refining capacity in the United States from refineries shutting down. Maybe the better question the president could ask is, how do we start increasing our ability to refine, not how is he gonna take over refineries and run it himself? We have a major structural problem right now. This is just evidence of what's going on across the whole economy. There are answers. There are solutions, but they're not raising taxes and taking over refineries and putting oil out from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve or running to Saudi Arabia. That's not gonna solve our energy problems. And I can assure us, we're not going to solve our 8.6 inflation rate until we solve the price of energy. Because the price of energy is baked into every single product that we buy, everything. And if this doesn't get solved, this doesn't get better. Mr. President, do what needs to be done to increase supply in America so that the price will go down. We all believe, we all believe in the decades ahead, we're gonna have more electric vehicles, we'll have more renewable energy. We all believe that. But 98% of the vehicles on the road right now run on oil and gas. And fulfilling your promise, your promise 
that you're gonna get rid of fossil fuels right now by making it harder to do pipelines, harder to get capital, harder to do permitting, harder, uh, more complicated regulations is causing this mess. 30 years from now, we may all be driving electric vehicles. Great, we don't today. And today, we need solutions for how we're gonna move in the country. That involves increasing supply. That will get down inflation. That will help us as a nation. Federal Reserve today raised interest rates 75 basis points, three quarters of a point. With a statement, they may come back and do that again in another month. A point and a half in two months. It's a pretty dramatic effect. It's going to be a situation where many people, 40 and younger, are about to flip, face in interest rates they've never faced in their lifetime. Cost of buying a car that's already high is about to get higher. Cost of buying a home that's already really high is about to get much higher. Inflation is now at 8.6%. A lot of people are beginning to feel what that really means. This is not some strange anomaly. This is inflation over the last decade. It's bounced around about the same level, basically, for a decade until right there, March of 2021. And then it just skyrockets at that point. This is the reality that we're facing at this point. What does inflation really look like when you say it's 8.6%? Well, people know what that feels like. Cost of eggs has gone up 32% in the past year. 32% for eggs. The cost of milk is up 16%. The cost of butter, also 16%. The cost of coffee, 15%. And the cost of baby formula, if you can find it, is up 